Yeah, this team will be significantly better, definitely from the effort standpoint and uh, competing standpoint. Robert Salah is going to demand it. That coaching staff is going to demand it. I think, as they said, I think they can hover around the 500 mark. It just depends how far Zach Wilson can go with this offense and Michael LaFleur. I don't believe they'll turn over the whole playbook to him right away. They'll ease him in. A lot of play action pass, running. They'll really run the ball a lot, especially to that left side with Elijah Vera Tucker and Makai Becton. But I think this team is going to be more physical. That's what the Robert Salah really is known for, bringing physicality to the game. If you look at those defensive picks at the end, Nazardine, Sherwood, these are physical guys. They like to hit you, run hit guys. This team will be a lot more physical, and they'll have a lot more effort and they'll compete a lot more. I think ultimately what you want to see by the end of the year, you just want to see growth. You want to see guys buy into the identity, which Robert Slaw is trying to bring. You want to see the quarterback get better. You want to see him be able to make the throws that he couldn't make early in the year. You want to see the running backs be able to hit the gaps, hit the holes. You want to see Makai Becton. You want to see Vera Tucker. You want to see them finishing blocks in week in week 16 and week 15 and week 14. Well, now we have week 18. You just want to see a team and start to get an identity moving forward. Like you want to see them get better. Like Connor said, man, I, I think uh, realistically a good seven to eight wins, but that last half of the season, that December part of the year, if you see a team with identity and you see a team very different than they were uh, in September, I think that's all you really want to see out of that. And I think that's a win for the New York Jets in 2021. Yeah, sometimes when you win, you lose, and sometimes when you lose, you win. It's not about the record. I can care less about that right now. This team is two, two, about one or two years away from being able to compete for a, a playoff spot. You know, I remember that, that San Francisco team. It was the youngest team in the NFL, and that was the foundation of what they stand on now. It's about setting a foundation, like Braylon said. It's about getting a... A, a identity and saying this is what a jet looks like so other people can come. You, you got one job. Don't mess it up, right? Much like the Knicks have done, much like some of the struggling teams in this area has done, they've said, hey, it's safe to come here now. We have grown-ups in the building and we have real leadership. Come here. It's only going to get better. And if you win in New York, there's no better place to go. And I just think one thing you can expect, too, finally, a dynamic offense that is more in line with what we see in the NFL this year. It's not just that the Jets have been losing recently. Recently, but the brand of offensive football has been stagnant and boring. So a lot to be excited block, block about. Block Peyton Manning. We ain't taking no more calls from Peyton Manning. Don't suggest. 